G'day. Today we're doing a repair on a BAXR8. Um, the transmission's noisy, grumbly as you're driving it. Um, third gear seems to go away, um, but the noise is there in reverse, uh, first, second, and top gear. So we're just going to do a couple of checks before we um, pull it apart. Now if we go if we go into reverse it has a slight grumbly sound. It's even got that sound in neutral. And when you're driving it, um, the grumbly sound will be in in drive. But standing still, um, it'll do it in reverse and neutral. We're in park. Doesn't seem to select park. we go. Just, just hop, hang on. Put your foot on the brake and just go reverse neutral, reverse neutral. Alright, now go put on the brake and go drive neutral. No, take your foot off the brake, you've got to... And neutral. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's definitely in the transmission, it's not in the diff. Now, I've just taken the pan off, but before I did that, I put a few magnets on the bottom of the pan, just while I was test driving it. You can see that the filter's been pretty well blocked up as well. And you can see how much fine metal's in there. You can see the original magnet. And here's where I've got the magnets underneath the pan. You can see that they've helped collect a bit of that rubbish as well that's been floating around in there. So this one's um, making grinding noises right through all the gear ranges except for third. So I'm suspecting that the planetary's probably gone on it. So we're going to pull the transmission out and... Uh, see what the problem is but the owners um, opted to go for a, a full Rico anyway so we'll go ahead and do that okay we've got the transmission out and we've only taken out one side of the um, exhaust there and the transmission will come out quite easily there you don't have to take off both sides but we did have to loosen this side so we've left the the nuts right at the end of the thread just so it's come down a little bit just a little bit easier to get it out okay i've given the transmission a wash and we've pulled it apart um, there is quite a bit of fine metal in there if you have a look which uh, is is to be expected when the planetary blows up like that and you can see it's right circulated right through the whole transmission everywhere so 
So what happens with these transmissions is um, when Ion took over from BTR, they changed the, the pumps and you can see the pumps only very narrow there. So they've got a much um, reduced oil flow, I believe. So uh, one little upgrade we can do, we can put, just swap that um, pump over for a, um, from, from a later or earlier model transmission and that'll um, increase the, the oil flow. If you have a look over here, we've got the C3 clutch, which is the one at the uh, rear of the transmission. And you can see the, the rear sun gear and the, the forward sun gear have both been damaged. What actually happened is this bush that goes in here has fallen out. Um, obviously it's either worn out or had a lubrication problem. Uh, once it's thinned out, it's got no strength to stay in there, and it's just spun out. Um, what then has happened, well, you can see the other bush there as well on that sun gear, on the rear sun gear. Um, it's actually clamped itself on there, so it was actually spinning, spinning in here. Um, you can see also that the Torrington bearing is completely gone and it's chewed right into that gear on both sides. If you can see that. That part just sits in there like so. You can see how much slops there. And you've got that metal to metal contact. Here we have the planetary gear, and you can see those two teeth there are all chewed out as well. So in this unit we need to actually change everything from the C3 clutch right back, even the, uh, the output shaft annulus, that's the one that spins around on these gears. Um, you can see it's got chunks and metal stuck in it and it's actually chewed out some of the teeth as well. Um, another thing that I noticed, the clutches seem to appear to be okay, but if you have a look, they've actually started peeling. So you can see they're flaking off there. Um, particularly that one on, on the, the outer side. And this one. So both the outer friction clutch plates have started peeling. So there may have, may have been a bit of water in the transmission as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to install a transmission oil cooler and completely bypass the radiator. And he tows a bit with it as well, so that'll be handier for that. So by increasing um, the flow, um, changing that pump, um, it'll, it'll create a little bit more lubrication through the whole system and probably last a little bit longer. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and um, recondition this transmission, uh, put a kit through it, and like I mentioned earlier, we've got to uh, replace everything from the, the hard parts I'm talking about, everything from the C3 clutch back to the um, annulus that goes on the output shaft there. Um, the output shaft we don't have to replace, and uh, of course we replace all the bushes as well. Anyway, that's showing you what um, can happen uh, if you've got a noisy transmission. Um, it was uh, noisy in all the gears except for third gear, um, which uh, means that it wasn't going through that, that gear, geared part there that was damaged, just going straight through the power flow. 
So that's why there wasn't as much noise. It probably was a bit of noise, but you couldn't notice it as much. And also when you're selecting neutral to reverse and neutral to drive, we had that noise. Anyway, I hope that's uh, shown a little bit. Thank you for watching.